Welcome to The Late Show, everybody. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert, and it is... It's, it's good to be with you. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, boy, what a terrible weekend. Yeah, white supremacists from around the country carrying shields, clubs, body armor, uh, automatic weaponry descended on Charlottesville, Virginia, a beautiful, great American town. To hold a rally, they called Unite the Right. The rally was a clear attempt to spark violence, and it did. One of these white supremacists drove a car into a crowd of counter-protesters, killing one young woman, Heather Heyer, and injuring 19 more. In addition, two Virginia State troopers, H.J. Cullen and Burke Bates, who were monitoring the rally from the air, were killed when their helicopter crashed. Our hearts go out to the victims and their families, and it is difficult to express how heartbreaking it is to see something like this happening in our country. But here's one thing that's not difficult to express. Nazis are bad. <laughs> the KKK, I'm not a fan. Right. That wasn't right. hard. That ain't hard. Come right off the tongue. That was easy. I enjoyed saying it. <laughs> but on Saturday, when the nation looked to our president to rebuke these hate groups, what he said was this. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence on many sides. On many sides. Many sides? Many sides. Many sides. Mr. President, Mr. President, this is terrorism, not your order at KFC. <laughs> I'd like the 10-piece bucket with potato wedges, fries, mashed... You know what? Many sides. Many sides. Coleslaw. How can you possibly say you condemn this in the strongest possible terms when you don't even name the groups responsible or say what they did? I strongly condemn you-know-who about you-know-what. <laughs> and you know what? Aren't we all Nazis if you think about it? I don't know. I don't know. I have seen angrier huh. Yelp reviews. <laughs> and they weren't afraid to use the word Nazi when describing how long their jalapeno poppers took. Here's the problem. This is the nut of what's most disturbing about this, uh -huh. is that the president came out after a tragedy, and after he made his statement, reasonable people could not tell if he was condemning Nazis. And it's not like Trump is a shrinking violet. He's known for criticizing things. If only the president was as mad about neo-Nazis murdering people in the streets as he's been about Hillary Clinton, The New York Times, CNN, Joe Scarborough, Kristen Stewart, the cast of Hamilton, Diet Coke, Nordstrom's not selling his daughter's clothes, Arnold Schwarzenegger, the mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, me, the state of New Hampshire, Gold Star Families, Penn Jillette's Las Vegas show, the movie Django Unchained, Meryl Streep, <laughs> And Lady Ghostbusters. <laughs> and... I'm not a fan. I don't understand. I just don't understand. And while he wouldn't name the perpetrators, Trump was very quick to say, who's not to blame? It's been going on for a long time in our country. Not Donald Trump, not Barack Obama. It's been going on for a long, long time. Yeah, Obama and I both share some responsibility here. I mean, I embraced alt-right racist. Obama was black. We both contributed to the problem in our own way. <laughs> well, man, after the up. president blew the easiest condemnation of all time, Trump took criticism from many sides, many sides. <laughs> but he did, I, I... But he did get praise from one group, neo-Nazis. One prominent white power website wrote, Trump comments were good. He didn't attack us. He just said the nation should come together. Nothing specific against us. He said that we need to study why people are so angry and implied that there was hate on both sides. He said he loves us all. Careful, guys. He says he loves you now. But one day, he's gonna leave you for younger Nazis. <laughs> but... Thank you, John. <laughs> Thank you. He might come around. Of course, Nazis weren't the only ones praising Donald Trump. So was the Klan. Like former KKK Grand Wizard and current taxidermy lizard David Duke. <laughs> 
seen here being racially superior. <laughs> Duke. <laughs> Thank you, John. Duke. Duke. <laughs> David Duke was at Charlottesville's Hatapalooza, and he said this. We are determined to take our country back. We're going to fulfill the promises of Donald Trump. That's what we believed in. That's why we voted for Donald Trump. Oh, so the Klan voted for Donald Trump. Oh, that's right. I remember they wore those special Make America Great Again hats. <laughs> now, <laughs> hat fans. Thank you for applauding for hats. I certainly, certainly <laughs> hope we're applauding for hats. Now, <laughs> faced with this absolute PR cluster munch, <laughs> on Sunday, the White House released this. The president said very strongly in his statement yesterday that he condemns all forms of violence, bigotry, and hatred. And of course, that includes white supremacists, KKK, neo Nazi, and all extremist groups. Okay, good. Finally, someone willing to stand up. Only we don't know who that person was because it was an unidentified White House <laughs> spokesperson. Why? Why? Why unidentified? I like. Look, of course we don't support the Nazis or the KKK. You're not going to use my name, are you? <laughs> I could get in trouble. Now, here's the thing. Some people didn't need their anti-Nazi statements explained later. Like the mayor of Charlottesville, who called the rally a cowardly parade of hatred, bigotry, racism, and intolerance. Which, coincidentally, was also the theme of Steve Bannon's senior prom. <laughs> Under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. Also, you might recall that on Friday, the white supremacists held a torch wielding march, only they were holding tiki torches. <laughs> How lame. That's like villagers coming after Frankenstein holding scented candles. <laughs> oh, oh. Ah, sandalwood vanilla bed. <laughs> ah. And here's the deal. The company that makes tiki torches released a statement saying, quote, tiki brand is not associated in any way with the events that took place in Charlottesville and are deeply saddened and disappointed. Our products are designed to enhance backyard gatherings and to help family and friends connect with each other at home in their yard. Give it up. Give it up. I gotta say, it's pretty troubling when a backyard decoration comes out swinging stronger against Nazis than the President of the United States. Your move, Lawn Flamingos. So, faced with getting morally dunked on by pretty much everybody, Today, the president dug a trench, lowered the bar into it, and then slithered over it, somehow finding the courage to read a statement clearly written by somebody else. Racism is evil, and those who cause violence in its name are criminals and thugs, including the KKK, neo-Nazis, white supremacists, and other hate groups that are repugnant to everything we hold dear as Americans. Was that so hard? Why did that take two days? Sir, uh, how do you feel about Nazis? Give me 48 hours to get back to you. <laughs> and Trump tried to heal a news cycle by reminding us what we all have in common. We all salute the same great flag. No, we don't. <laughs> I have seen their flags. They can't even agree which one they're going to salute. <laughs> Okay? Don't mix us up. Now, he didn't, he didn't answer any questions there, but later he was pressed on the issue by CNN's Jim Acosta. Mr. President, can you explain why you did not condemn those hate groups by name over the weekend? They've been condemned. They have been condemned. And, and why are we not having a press conference today? You said on Friday we had a press conference. We had a press conference. We just had a press conference. Can we ask you some more questions then, sir? It doesn't bother me at all, but you know, I like real news, not fake news. You're fake news. Sir?
Sir, you see how fast you condemned CNN right off the top of your head with no script? <laughs> Next time, like that, but with Nazis. <laughs> and that's simple. He can do it. He's very good at it. And here's another thing. Here's another thing, and I don't know where I'm finding the courage to say. Here's another thing I don't like about Nazis. A lot of these Nazis showed up to the rally wearing their uniform of khakis and white polo shirts. Because nothing strikes more fear into the hearts of your enemies than cosplaying as the assistant manager of a pool supply company. <laughs> look, look, Nazis. You don't get to turn khakis and white polo shirts into the official uniform of racism. What's going to happen to guys who actually dress like that? People like me and Jake from State Farm. <laughs> Do I have to throw out all my polo shirts now? Well, two can play at that game. If you get to ruin khakis and polo shirts, I say red baseball caps mean you're an ass. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight.